Alright guys, Bill 96 here today, going to be putting up another ice fishing video here. Uh, if you guys are wondering, usually I post two to three times a week, haven't been able to get any videos out because I actually just moved to Michigan, back in Illinois right now, didn't have any Wi-Fi up there, just got Wi-Fi up there as well, so I'll be able to upload on a consistent basis again. But I was up there for the past week, going to school at Southwestern Michigan College, and I just wasn't able to get any content out because I didn't have any uh, internet. So, back in Illinois, did a little bit of ice fishing, guys. Was on a really nice pond, catching a lot of big bass. Cop came, kick, kicked us out. Then we uh, started pond hopping, hit a lot of other ponds, and we didn't really put anything together too much. Caught a lot of little fish, but stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I was not ready to fall in like I'm wasted. I didn't even know it. I got one. Here, <laughs> film this. I'm jigging as I'm talking. That's the one I just put in the hole. <laughs> he cheated. He cheated. I had to ask her to just release it. This thing hit it. I thought it was just his fish bumping into my line, but it was actually this thing eating it down there. And he came right back for it. I saw him on the grass. So we missed that one, guys, on uh, on the camera. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Uh, he came up and I missed him. And then he came right back and hit it again. But uh, all I was doing was dead sticking that Swedish pimple. I'm going to show you guys how to fish this in a moment, too. I know you guys, a lot of you guys have been asking about it. So nice fish for this pond, though. Solid, solid bass. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to fish a Swedish pimple for bass. This works especially well in the ponds and the lakes. It's a little bit different. But this is the technique that I use to target all these bass I've been catching lately in all these small ponds. What I do is I take my Swedish pimple. I prefer a silver with like a uh, white sticker usually. Anything that resembles a little shad. And I usually go for the two size, the smaller size, because you're still able to catch a smaller fish, like a bluegill or a crappie, but you get bass as well. Now I just take a nice little wax worm and I put it right on there. I usually hook them twice just to make sure they stay on. I drop down the hole, I watch it on the graph, drop it all the way to the bottom. Nine times out of ten, bass in the winter are going to be sitting right above the bottom, guys. And then what you want to do to coax these bass into biting is you jig your Swedish pimple really rapidly. You want to make it, you want to call bass in from a distance, basically. Just jig it erratically, make it flash around and shine. And you're going to make those bass from all around your area come in and investigate and see what's going on over there. And then once you mark a bass in the screen, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dead stick your bait. You're going to want to pretty much stop it completely. And that bass is going to think that it's a dying shad or minnow, and it's going to eat it right up, guys. That's all there is to it. Next time you're at your local pond ice fishing, check it out, guys. Buy a Swedish pimple, get the two size, a little silver one, and you're going to catch bass, I promise you. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Maybe a bass. What is he? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's a good one. It's a bass. Guys, we had a couple little false alarms. You guys gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Billy, how do you stop recording? Hit the button on top. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. As you can see behind me, a lot of the snow and ice is starting to melt right now too. We still have about seven inches of safe, solid ice in the ponds. Uh, in Michigan, that's not the case because we had so much snow that it kind of messed the ice up and we only had about three inches there and we have a nice like a warm week coming in so probably not going to be doing a ton more ice fishing unless it gets super cold after this but in the, like, the two week forecast we have right now, got a ton of warm weather guys, we might be open water fishing in February so don't know exactly what's going to happen, going to be putting out some video go videos though so stay tuned guys.